garden. Today I am going to enter Black Gumbo's 2022 One Seed Challenge. I did it two years ago. This is the brainchild of Scott Head of Black Gumbo Gardening. And it is a challenge for gardeners, but it's not a competition. See, the whole point of this is to challenge a gardener to be able to actually follow the entire life cycle of one plant. See, normally speaking, as gardeners, we plant out an entire crop of something. In my case, because I do mostly permaculture, I'm building a system. Instead of planting row crops, I'm building things like, uh, you might want to call them guilds, where I plant a tree with a nitrogen fixer, some type of bush, something that'll keep insects away, such as potato mint or lemongrass, rosemary, and create a system where normal vegetable gardeners, they plant everything in either raised beds, large containers, or in rows, and they think in the terms of a specific crop, not an individual plant. Well, the reason I chose to do it this year is because I came across and was gifted by another gardener a seed of a type of plant that I have never grown before. I've known about it for many years. I've seen it grown in a few different places. But I myself have never grown this plant. The guy gave me about a dozen seeds. And I think he very much for them but it seems like it'd be a good challenge for me to grow a plant that I've never experienced I've never grown it myself even my book knowledge of it is very limited so I got them in here I'm gonna choose one here in a minute now, if you're a gardener channel, or even just a gardener who wants to participate in the One Seed Challenge 2022, you can. Go ahead and make yourself an entry video, and then track its progress throughout the year for its entire life cycle, from you planting it to either the plant dying or you getting your harvest. Now, I'm not an absolute expert of exactly how Scott wants all that done but you can always go to Scott Head's channel Black Gumbo and check him out I'm sure he'd greatly appreciate it and you can ask him questions but like I said this isn't really a competition between gardeners so much as it is a challenge to yourself now the fun thing is is you can put in the tag one seed challenge 2022 and see gardeners from all over the world literally all over the world and what they're doing what plant they selected to challenge themselves with you can see how the different zones and the different climates affect what they're growing I'm in Central Florida my zone is 9B slash 10A because two blocks to the east of me is 10A. So I'm kind of in this weird little border zone and I grow things that are a little bit different than your average gardener because I'm growing what is zone appropriate. Now, what I have in here is called velvet beans never grown them there are several different types and I have absolutely no idea what type is in here I didn't get a chance to thoroughly examine the mother plant I saw it 
but I saw it during a tour of the gentleman's gardens. And we were looking at fruit trees, not at support plants. This is a support plant that happens to have a crop. It's a nitrogen fixer. So stay tuned in. I'm going to select it out in just a second. Now these are the seeds that were gifted to me. Right here. Like I said, I've never grown these before. Right off bat, I can say I want to try to grow this one. This is the strongest looking one there. We're going to put it right there. these back in the cup. All right. Here's my seed. Nice, fat, healthy looking. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plant this in a four inch pot. The potting mix that's in it is a mix that I make myself. I did make a video on it, so if you want to see how I make my seed starting mix, there is a rather nice video on it. It's not complicated. There's the seed. Nice, fat, healthy looking seed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push my finger in. One knuckle deep. Good sized seed so I can put it pretty deep. cover it up with a little bit of dirt now the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this little tray then make sure it has a good amount of water in it it should start in about a week thanks for watching y'all have a great day